Hi, I'm Andy from KiwiCo. We're always looking to science to help answer interesting questions about the world around us, like this one from Taylor. Hi, Andy. Can you tell me what happens to balloons when they fly away? Awesome question. We've all probably been there. A moment of forgetfulness, a slip of your grip, and suddenly your balloon is up, up, and away. But where does it go, and what happens to it? Well, it turns out that the secret comes down to a really basic science principle, pressure. We also have the perfect tool to experiment with pressure right here. But let's cover some basics first. Pressure is all around us, literally. At any given time, we have more than 10 miles of atmosphere pressing down on us, adding up to almost 15 pounds per square inch or 100 kilopascals. If you think that's a lot though, the pressure at the bottom of the ocean under all that atmosphere and all that water is about eight tons or a thousand times what we're feeling at the surface. In fact, fewer people have visited the bottom of the deepest part of the ocean than have gone to space, partially due to the fact that the pressure is so hard on machinery. On the opposite end of the spectrum, if you take a trip up to space, there's no air and no air pressure. Space is what scientists call a vacuum, or an area that's completely empty, which means there's not even air. There isn't a solid boundary where the atmosphere goes from having air to not having air, though. As you go higher and higher, there is gradually less and less atmosphere, and the pressure also becomes less and less. This is exactly the journey that your wayward balloon takes, and also where our fancy machine over here comes into play. This is a vacuum chamber. Vacuum chambers are specifically designed to create low pressure environments, much like you find in the upper atmosphere or in space. This makes it the perfect tool to simulate what happens to a balloon as it flies away. A vacuum chamber system has a few different components. First, we have the chamber itself. The chamber is made of thick glass. Vacuum chambers have to be really strong because they're dealing with a lot of pressure. If you look closely, you'll see a small hole in the plate. This is where the vacuum pump sucks the air out. This brings us along our tube here and to our pump. The vacuum pump is the machine that sucks the air out of the chamber. You can also see this gauge at the top of the pump. This lets us know what the pressure is inside the vacuum chamber. Okay, enough background. Let's use this thing to see what happens when we let go of our balloon. Here, I have our mini balloon. I'm gonna put this in our chamber like so. Next, I'm going to turn on our vacuum pump. You'll see the pressure inside the chamber reduce rapidly, simulating the balloon floating higher and higher. And then we'll have the answer. Ready? Oh man, it is getting a lot bigger. It's holding together actually surprisingly well. Oh, there we go. Let's take a look at that again. As the pressure is being reduced in the vacuum chamber, you can see the balloon expanding. This is exactly what happens when your balloon flies away. As it gets higher, it keeps getting bigger until it can't expand any further and pops. And then the balloon pieces fall back down to earth and land in places they shouldn't be. So that's why it's important to keep a firm grip on your balloon while you're outside. While you likely haven't seen a balloon pop like this, you likely have seen this same air pressure phenomenon elsewhere. Have you ever noticed what happens to a bag of chips on an airplane? Here, I'll show you with a vacuum chamber. It puffs up, just like your balloon. This is also why your ears may pop sometimes while flying in an airplane or driving in the mountains. There's actually air inside your ear. If you go someplace with lower pressure, there can be a pressure imbalance between inside your ear and outside. The small pop is your body equalizing the pressure. So there you have it. Now you know what happens to your balloon when it floats away. Plus, you have some awesome new knowledge about pressure. And if you want to experiment at home and build your own mini vacuum chamber, like this one from Tinkercrate, be sure to check out KiwiCo.com.